A link aggregation group, LAG, is a way to combine multiple network connections into one, creating a more robust and higher bandwidth connection. It's like merging several lanes on a highway into a wider road to handle more traffic while still keeping the speed limit the same. Lags improve performance, provide redundancy in case of failures, and allow devices to work together more efficiently. The two types of lags that are typically configured on a Cisco Business CBS 350 switch are static and dynamic. If you compared a static lag to the widened highway scenario, it would have predetermined lanes that stay fixed, meaning devices always use the same connections. It ensures consistent and predictable routing, improving network performance, and providing redundancy in case of link failures. A dynamic lag works a little differently. Just as lanes on the highway can adapt to handle more traffic on busy days, a dynamic lag dynamically distributes network traffic across available connections to optimize performance. If you would rather configure a dynamic lag or would like more details on static and dynamic lags in general, check out the links in the description. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure static lags on CBS 350 switches next. For this example, I'm using two CBS 350 switches. You need to configure all lag settings the same on both switches to make the static lag link work. There are two mode options available when configuring a lag, on and auto. On mode forces the port to join a channel without a link aggregation control protocol, LACP, operation, and Auto forces the port to join a channel as a result of an LACP operation. In CBS switches, the default mode is on. You should use care when using the on mode. In a static lag, if a group is misconfigured or ports on both ends of the lag don't match, packet loss or spanning tree loops can occur. To configure the lag, navigate to port management, link aggregation, and then lag management. The first selection is for the load balance algorithm. By default, the MAC address option is selected. This option performs the load balancing by the source and destination MAC address received on all packets. I'll leave this at the default. If you select IP slash MAC address instead, load balancing is performed using IP addresses for IP packets and MAC addresses for non-IP packets. Under the lag management table, choose lag one and click on edit. Give the lag a name. Do not enable LACP. LACP is used when creating a dynamic lag, but not a static one. Then from the port list, I'll move port number GE1 and GE2 over to the lag members column. In this example, I'm using two switch ports to form the lag. However, you may use more. Click apply and then close. You may have noticed that the GE1 and GE2 ports are showing under the standby member column. This is because the link is not yet connected. Next, it's time to move over to the second switch to configure the same settings there. On the second CBS 350, Navigate to Port Management, Link Aggregation, and then Lag Management. For the Load Balance Algorithm, I'll keep MAC address, choose Lag 1, and click Edit. Enter the lag name. Leave LACP unchecked. On this switch, I'll also use ports GE1 and GE2, but these do not have to be the same. Click Apply, and then Close. Now the static lag configuration has been done on both switches. Connect the cables between the two switches by plugging them into the ports you selected when configuring the lag. For this example, that is the GE1 and GE2 ports on both. Once connected, refresh this page on the switch to see the link state status. The link state is showing as up 
and ports GE1 and GE2 are showing as active members in leg one. All members of a static leg will be active members. Move to the other switch and refresh. Now the leg shows as up, and my two ports, GE1 and GE2, are showing as active members. Great. To save the configurations after a reboot, click on the red blinking save icon at the top of the screen. Be sure to save the configuration on the other switch as well. You now have a static leg on your CBS350 switches, helping get tasks done quickly and effectively. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.